my hello to everyone on this dams delhi youtube channel and instagram i am dr sachin psychiatry faculty today we have dr nikhil bisen with us he has secured a rank of 132 in recently conducted ini ct november exam congratulations dr nikhil uh thank you so much sir it's pleasure to talk with you thank you for being with us here how are you feeling about the result now uh i feel really happy sir and more than happiness i feel relieved it's a sigh of relief sort of tell me tell us about yourself where are you from where are you graduate from uh sir uh, um i have graduated from mahatma gandhi institute of medical sciences mjms sevagram i am 2018 batch uh, i belong to gondia district in maharashtra and i completed my internship in 2024 okay so this was your second attempt at inict or third uh so it was in fact my fourth attempt because i also attempted 2024 uh, may inict also so 24 and then 24 november 25 may and this is like fourth inict can you tell us about your results in the previous inict how you progressed to this uh sir in 2024 may inict it was just after my internship so i was just giving it for the sake of uh, getting familiar with the computer based test so my rank was uh, 25000 in that test okay uh, then i gave neat pg24 my rank was 33000 there uh then i gave uh, november i and my rank was uh, 3700 So first twenty five thousand and then thirty seven hundred. Very good. Yes, sir. And then, sir, in May I nine city I had a rank of seven eighty four. Very good. Seven eighty four. You could have got some seat also. Uh yes, sir. But I was inclined towards general medicine and I was uh, not getting that seat. So um, okay. that's why and need was just one month after I nine city. So I thought like uh, I could do, but uh, like uh, in need I I don't know I performed terribly. I got a rank of seven thousand. I was expecting a like decent rank below four thousand. So then I thought like uh, I had no other option than to attempt uh, November I N I C T paper. So then but I went. But it's good that and... it's good that you attempted November I N I because if you would have got a better rank in need, then maybe you couldn't wouldn't have taken this as seriously as you have taken it now. uh yes sir that was a blessing in disguise sort of it was your destiny uh, to move in four ini papers he has given i would like the students to know that those who give up after giving one ini that i am not made for ini uh, today's interview nikhil let's i know you have cleared uh, neat as well let's stick to ini why yes. is that you know ini paper is considered you have given four ini 25000 3700 700 and 130 so gradually you have progressed tell us what this exam requires from a medical student according to you what was that thing which you could do this time which you could not do last three times uh, uh sir i would say like ina is very specific to certain things and they will ask the questions repeatedly from those topics so I, in fact before going into the content i would say it's ab about mindset also like many people feel like ina has only limited seats and thus they don't have that intrinsic motive to give ina city that seriously as they give neat so i think uh, maximum um, i would say competition falls back here only in the mindset aspect uh, and sir then i would say uh, about the content like ina city focuses more on first year especially anatomy gross images which is very tough and many of uh, the medicals are very weak in first year subjects especially anatomy and biochemistry so i feel that uh, uh, the things that i did differently from uh, may i nice city to november was i uh, um, uh, had more emphasis on the topics of first and second year and i was very heavily pyq based i was studying very pyq based so if they were asked a gross image um, of let's say cerebral cut section of cerebellum so i used to go through similar sections from the question bank or from the notes so that i could get the hang of that topic so repeatedly they ask papes circuit in psychiatry so uh, one time they ask a gross image of hippocampus other time they ask whole circuit so i think uh, it was more targeted towards the previous year topics and questions that's i think the one difference i could point out and the other is mindset sir so this is what you said in the last 6 months but you know most of the students who are joining coaching these days are like second year third year since you also joined during your second and third mbbs डू यू रियली फील ऑनेस्टली आपको लगता है निखिल की जब एक एम बी बी एस स्टूडेंट एम बी बी एस में पढ़ रहा है 
तो उसको आई के लिए कुछ अलग करना चाहिए या एमबीबीएस लेवल पे दोनों की तैयारी सेम है आ, सर मुझे तो लगता है कि आई एन या फिर नीट पीजी का जो दिमाग है ख्याल है वो दिमाग में आपको इंटर्नशिप में लाना चाहिए हालांकि आपके कंसेप्ट काफी मतलब अच्छे होने चाहिए सो यू शुड फोकस मोर ऑन दी थियरी और दी प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट इन दी एमबीबीएस बिकॉज आई थिंक गेटिंग योर कंसेप्ट राइट इज आई पर मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इन आई एन आईज इवन इफ दे आस्क लाइक heavily on first and second year but the questions are twisted in such a way that they are conceptually intriguing so if, if your concepts are good you will get through those questions so i think perhaps i feel in second and third mbbs you should focus on building concepts rather than thinking about competitive exams or mcqs that's what i have realized sir because my base of second year was pretty good uh so i, I did not go in much detail in the second year because i i laid more emphasis on uh learning things rather than learning concepts in second year especially i would say so i think the journey is similar sort of and you should lay more focus on the concepts rather than i would say mcq or entrance orientation under graduation mein jo taiyari start karte hain bacche aapko kya lagta hai under graduation mein taiyari start karna se fayda hota hai matlab ya mba yes, khatam karne ke baad hi taiyari start karni chahiye uh सर मुझे तो लगता है कि एम के दौरान अगर आप तैयारी स्टार्ट करें तो वो बेहतर है बिकॉज यू हैव अ बेसिक आइडिया कि कैसे पढ़ना है कौन से टॉपिक्स इंपॉर्टेंट है एंड यू आल्सो गेट योर कंसेप्ट्स राइट बिकॉज एट टाइम्स यू आल्सो नो दैट इन मेडिकल स्कूल्स द लेक्चर्स आर नॉट टू दैट लेवल एटलीस्ट इन सर्टन इंस्टीट्यूट बारिंग सर्टन इंस्टीट्यूट द लेवल्स लेवल ऑफ लेक्चर्स आर नॉट टू दैट लेवल दैट विल गेट योर कंसेप्ट राइट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम लाइक द गेट गो सो इफ यू हैव ज्वाइन द कोचिंग दैट हेल्प्स यू टू इम्प्रूव योर कंसेप्ट and also they also give you a orientation sort of that this topics are important for the entrance exams so i feel it is it is helpful sir i found i found it helpful chahiye matlab ab agar aaj aap se meri jagah koi second mbbs bachcha baat kare aur puche aap se ki sir main kaise taiyari start karu to aap usse kahenge apne concept strong kare theek bilkul theek baat hai lekin third year mbbs mein use kya padhna chahiye agar aaj aapka ye interview third year mbbs dekh raha hai to use kya padhna chahiye सर स्टैंडर्ड टेक्स्ट बुक्स अगर वो पढ़ सकते हैं तो इट इज डेफिनेटली हेल्पफुल बट स्टैंडर्ड टेक्स्ट बुक में भी इफ यू ट्राई टू लर्न एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम स्टैंडर्ड टेक्स्ट बुक आई थिंक बहुत टाइम कंज्यूमिंग हो जाता है सो आई वुड से द टॉपिक्स विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट और विच आर टॉट इन योर कोचिंग क्लासेस इफ यू कैन रीड दोज फ्रॉम द स्टैंडर्ड टेक्सट बुक लाइक फॉर ई एन टी इज इन थर्ड ईयर देन आई थिंक ढिंगरा फॉर ई एन टी खुरान और पार्सन फॉर आई थिंक ऑफ थेल so if they can read certain topics uh, from the standard textbooks that would be helpful along with the coaching material that they are using so to aapne coaching uh, lena start kiya tha second year mein dams mein aapne kon kon se resources aur kon kon se subjects kaise kaise aapko help hua what all you used in dams uh so in second year uh, the later half of second year join dams in later half of second year like mid second year so uh, like it was a blessing in disguise that i had uh, that we had lockdown hmm. so in lockdown uh, dams had that e medicos app uh, so in that app we used to have live lectures as well as recorded lectures so i used to attend the live lectures because that gave me momentum so first of all i used the live lectures uh, specific, uh, uh, specifically pharmacology uh, pathology and microbiology in second year and sir next uh, i would suggest a uh, underrated uh, gem of dams that is the back to basics so mm-hmm. i watched uh, back to basics lectures but it was in the latter half of my internship i would say because sir uh, that was crisp concise and the whole main videos were there of short subjects were around 15 20 hours and the notes were also very less like around 100 or 120 pages so these two sources i would say like they definitely helped me the lectures and the back to basics notes okay aur kuch dams mein aapne revision sources dvt cbt anything that you uh, uh sir i used uh, dvt for big subjects like specially the medicine part of dvt uh, radiology uh and sir uh, i also found obstetrics very helpful because uh, i had uh, dams notes which were handwritten so they were quite big because they were catering the concepts uh, and the theory of final mbbs and the similar teachers were also there in dvt so it helped me to concise my medicine source to a very small in the form of dvt hmm. specifically and the short subjects sir theek hai any test papers that you have attempted in dams that helped you 
uh, sir, I did not give a offline test uh, of dams, like, but I attempted the free mock GTS that dam dam gives, like, before uh, one month or fifteen days before the actual exams. Okay, okay. Any advice that you would like to give to the current batch who is preparing for next INI? Suppose they have four or five months. What is your advice to them? Uh, sir, if they have they have four or five months and they have like decent concepts, I would strongly suggest them to go through the short uh, source possible because it is easier to add up on the short source than to cut down the big source. Mm -hmm. focus on the previous year questions and the topics so there is a difference in ini and neat in this aspect that ini tends to repeat previous year questions directly like the question will be as it is and if not the question they'll ask uh, the previous year topic so i would say like if they do a smaller source then they'll have the base clear like if they can do dvt or revision notes of whatever um, subjects they are using so first have your source a little concise and in the four or five months, build it up with previous year questions. Because INICT is more about uh, asking those 20% topics in a little depth more and more. So I think, sir, this would be a better strategy for the person who are preparing for like INICT May if they have four or five months left. Okay. And for undergraduate, you already told. Uh, can you guide something about the interns, like current interns who are juggling between duties and studies? Aapne bhi internship kiya. आपका भी इंटर्नशिप हैवी था तो इंटर्नशिप के साथ ये बैलेंस पढ़ाई का कैसे मेंटेन करते सर आई वाज वेरी बैड एट लाइक स्टडिंग इन इंटर्नशिप सो आई वाज अ पर्सन हु नीड्स अ होल डे ऑफ टू स्टडी और एटलीस्ट सिक्स और सेवन आवर्स स्ट्रेट ऑफ सो आई वाज नॉट समवन हु यूज्ड टू स्टडी इन द ओपीडीज और सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस वाइल मूविंग द पेशेंट फ्रॉम यूएसजी टू वर्ल्ड सो आई हैड दिस इन माय माइंड दैट इन द लाइटर पोस्टिंग आई विल स्टडी प्रॉपर्ली and as i said sir in internship you already have less time and instead of thinking that i have to cover everything uh, from first page to last page it is better to cover the high yield topics because you can uh, anyways add on those high yield topics later so i would say like do a source which is concise start with the concise source and once you finish a sub topic of a source like uh, for example if i take the example of like medicine if you do a endocrine system from medicine then straight away go and solve the previous year uh, questions of endocrine system then you'll get to know that they are asking more on cushings or they are asking more on pituitary so in that sense you'll come to know that pituitary is uh, far more important than maybe adrenal medulla so uh, this is how you can try it in the internship but if you try and go uh, to read a lot of depth you will not be able to complete uh, all of your syllabus and i think uh, in inicity as i told like they ask specific topics so to read specific topics you must know your specific topics uh, that's what i feel sir in internship this uh, lack of time so you should start with a lesser source build it up with previous year questions and then revise it multiple times and uh, if uh, we are lucky enough then please attempt grand test at least in the starting phase uh, once month and then once exam is 6 months or 8 months away you should attempt it at least uh, twice a month so I think that hmm. would be a good strategy. And अगर final MBBS student कहें कि हम MUHS studies and NEET PG preparation को कैसे balance करें तो उसमें आप क्या कहना चाहेंगे? Uh, sir, again there are two schools of thought. Like I was my seniors told me uh, this one thing which I ill like because in final MBBS you already have a pressure of passing your uh, final year uh, practical exams. So I would say like get that portion done with. like please make sure that you pass your final mbbs because rest journey starts from then so i feel like ki aap pehle secure kariye ki aapke practicals aur aapke theory clear hai acche se matlab you should be confident enough that you will pass final year exams specifically because final year in itself is tough because this batch has also have ent ophthalm in the final year mm -hmm. so they are like uh, they have six subjects i think barring those four so mm -hmm. i would say like um, please make sure that you pass your final mbbs entrance test and once you pass then you have whole of your internship and also when you do lectures of uh, coachings uh, like so it is similar i mean there is not much of a difference even if i, I myself have read uh, my medicine notes of dams to clear my university exam and i also back there a gold medal in general medicine hmm so i did not go to books uh, the, for every topic no. कोचिंग की टीचिंग है उससे आपके फाइनल एमबीबीएस का भी सिलेबस कवर होता है आप ऐसा कहना चाहते हैं डेफिनेटली सर हंड्रेड परसेंट
हंड्रेड परसेंट तो कुछ अलग से तैयारी नहीं आप कह रहे हैं फाइनल ईयर पे फोकस करें और नीट पीजी या आई एन आई ओरियंटेड तैयारी इंटर्नशिप के दौरान भी स्टार्ट की जा सकती है यस सर बिकॉज आई हैव माय फ्रेंड्स जिनको ऐसे भी स्टडीज से अच्छे रैंक्स मिले हैं सर अकॉर्डिंग टू मतलब अगर अंडर ग्रेजुएट के लिए कोई खास फर्क नहीं है प्रिपरेशन इज सेम फॉर नीट पीजी एंड आई लेकिन वंस यू एंटर इंटर्नशिप एंड पोस्ट इंटर्नशिप तब थोड़ा बहुत आई एन इज मोर ऑफ पी एंड फर्स्ट ईयर प्रोडोमिनेट यही आप कह रहे हैं यस सर ओके बिफोर वी फाइनली क्लोज दिस इंटरव्यू एनी थिंग दैट यू वॉन्ट टू से फ्रॉम योर साइड विदाउट मी आस्किंग कोई आपकी तरफ से जनरल एडवाइस सर आई वुड से लाइक डोंट लेट योर जियोग्राफिकल लोकेशन और कॉलेज डिटरमाइन दैट वेर यूल गो इन फ्यूचर आई थिंक दिस इज द बेस्ट पीस ऑफ एडवाइस आई हर्ड फ्रॉम यू ऑल्सो इन मल्टीपल ऑफ योर वीडियोज टू मेर सर ऑल्सो एवरी वन कीप्स टॉकिंग लाइक नो मैटर यूर डन योर एमबीबीएस फ्रॉम अ प्राइवेट कॉलेज और अ गवर्नमेंट और इफ यून एफ एम जी आई थिंक इट्स अबाउट मार्किंग दोज एम सी क्यूज राइट ऑन द डे ऑफ एग्जाम आई थिंक इट्स नॉट मोर देन दैट it's about getting to the right answer because the examiner don't ask you like from where you have done your mbbs or were you a medalist or distinction holder in your ug and are you from a smaller city or you know have you done your aims from uh, done your mbbs from aims i think it doesn't matter actually it's just noise so this is the piece of advice i've heard from my seniors because one of my senior also cleared this uh, um, i nic t back in 20, uh, 2022 uh, so i think uh, we were inspired from her also and then again uh, one of our senior cleared aims in 2023 may hmm. so sir uh, this kind of things like uh, this is the piece of advice like, don't let your past define what you will end up in future like i think i feel this will help a lot uh, just get uh, your mindset right that i just need to study get my concepts right and mark the right answer in the mcq i think it boils down to that nothing more than that great great piece of fight dr nikhil thank you so much for being with us wish you all the best you get the md medicine your branch of choice in the college that you desire all the best thank you nikhil thank you so much it's pleasure talking with you sir